Not content with making the Snyder Cut a reality, fans are now campaigning that the Snyderverse should be completed. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse trends as fans are asking DC to let Zack Snyder complete his DCEU vision. So in this video we will explore what is the Snyderverse and what was the original plan for Zack Snyder's DC superhero universe. So be sure to check the video till the end to find some latest news and speculations on the Snyderverse. Check us out on Instagram and do not forget to like and subscribe. Welcome to Unnecessary Comic Stuff and let's get started. Snyder was working on his third movie in the franchise, Justice League, when he suffered a family tragedy and was forced to quit. As a result, that movie was completed by Joss Whedon and suffered from even worse reviews than the previous two efforts. That led to the Snyder Cut campaign which bore fruit when WB announced in May that Snyder's cut of the movie would be released on HBO Max in March 2021. Despite this, DC Films head Walter Hamada says that the studio sees the Snyder Cut as a dead end and won't be exploring the director's vision for the characters following its release. In response, fans are taking to Twitter once again campaigning for Snyder. The hashtag Restore the Snyderverse began trending. The hashtag features fans imploring the DC to let Snyder complete his vision for the so-called Snyderverse and make his films canon again. While fans are optimistic they will be able to change the minds of DC and WB with a new campaign, it's unlikely this one will be successful as the original Snyder Cut campaign was. Studio executives saw the potential in releasing the Snyder Cut to promote their new streaming service HBO Max. However, with a release plan which includes including the DC multiverse in The Flash as well as The Batman and a new version of The Suicide Squad incoming in 2021 and 22, it's clear DC has a plan in place for the DCEU. And sadly for fans, that's a pretty clear sign DC has moved on from the so-called Snyderverse. The director too seems to have accepted that Snyder Cut will be his final film with DC for a while, as he is already moving ahead with several projects, including a host with streaming service Netflix. So despite the popularity of the hashtag on social media, it's most likely that the Justice League's director's cut will be the last fans will see of the Snyderverse. As most would know, at this point Zack Snyder did not intend for his DC universe to compete with the MCU. Zack's original idea was to have a five-film Elseworlds style, Superman driven Justice League film series and we know what four of these films would be. This is where we guess and offer our ideas on the potential storyline of DC's former Snyderverse as well as some ideas on what the fifth film would have been. Some of these ideas are official or confirmed by Zack Snyder himself, while others are pure guesses. Man of Steel A grounded take on Superman and his birth with small teases to the larger world Zack had in mind. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition It is inspired by The Dark Knight Returns and the death of Superman comics. And the Ultimate Edition, the 3 hour epic that was never meant to give us classic takes on the character or follow a light tone as audiences expected. Just as it is now, the film teases the Justice League, the Nightmare World, Time Travelling, Dark Side and Steppenwolf. We are given a look at Batman's past and the death of his sidekick, Robin who Zack has confirmed was originally intended to be Dick Grayson and towards the end Superman dies but his revival is hinted at. Justice League Part 1 The plot would be similar to the film released in 2017 but with a few key differences. It would follow Batman and Wonder Woman recruiting Cyborg, Aquaman and The Flash to defeat Steppenwolf and stop him from retrieving the mother boxes. And Steppenwolf wants the mother boxes because his mother's spirit is literally inside those boxes and it would have helped him to get even more powerful than Darkseid himself. Superman would be resurrected with his infamous black suit but it is unclear whether he is resurrected by the League or by Stephen Wolf himself as a supporter of Darkseid. There is also a possibility that the Green Lantern Corps would appear in a small role, teasing them for Justice League Part 2. Zack has also confirmed that when Lewis is killed in the original Snyderverse, Superman becomes susceptible to the anti-life equation and turns evil under Darkseid's influence. I think that this would have played into his film and it would end with Superman taking down the League. And the final scene would be the storyboard revealed by Zack Snyder. We see Darkseid opening a mother box, an explosion takes place that encompasses the entire planet and we soon find Earth reflecting the nightmare sequence from Batman v Superman. Justice League Part 2 This sequel would have been inspired by the Injustice comics as confirmed by Zack. This film would basically be the entire nightmare sequence in depth, a Mad Max Fury Road style event involving the League 
trying to break Superman away from Darkseid's influence and defeat the ruler of Apocalypse. And a Green Lantern, probably Hal Jordan, would be the seventh member of the League in this film. It is possible that the death of Batman in that chamber seen in Batman v Superman would be a purposeful diversion to distract Superman, whose main goal would be to avenge Lois. This would buy enough time for the League to defeat Darkseid somehow. My guess is that this would be where Flash goes back in time to warn Bruce to save Lois and end Darkseid's reign. This of course would have major repercussions. It would likely be made clear that something isn't right and a major issue remains. I am not sure what this issue would be, but it is my belief that it has to do something with the Flashpoint storyline. Maybe Flashpoint or Justice League Part 3. This project was one of the most mysterious aspects of the Snyderverse. We were continuously told about the films from The Man of Steel to Justice League Part 2, but we were never told what exactly the final film was called. And our guess is that after the Flash went back in time, we would see a Flashpoint-like situation where everything has changed just as Jeffrey Dean Morgan being Batman, but it would not follow the comics. Instead, Zack would create an alternate universe with the new gods as villains. The film would end with characters like Batman coming to terms with their career and the losses that have faced, and Superman becoming the hero we all know and love. It remains to be revealed what Zack's plans were, and we can only hope that Zack does inform fans at some point. In a recent conversation on the Comic Book Debate YouTube show, Zack Snyder talked about his future in the DCEU. In the midst of Restore the Snyderverse, he was asked if he would do more projects ahead. He said that he never thought he would be finishing his version of Justice League. The filmmaker stated that he has no issues with his project being an old movie or which he is working for years. Snyder mentioned that the DC Universe has gone and branched off and done its own thing which is fine for him. Zack Snyder asserted that it is well known that he planned on more movies, around 5 films or something, including Justice League Part 2. He admitted that it is cool and amazing that the fans have so much faith in the trajectory. Zack Snyder originally had big plans in the DCEU. He would have reportedly done A Man of Steel 2 with Henry Cavill, followed by Justice League 2 and 3, with a few more projects. Now, as Zack Snyder's Justice League will be arriving soon, fans are eagerly waiting for what he has to offer. The project will be a 4 hour long movie consisting of never seen before footage. Following the Snyder cuts getting announced, all kind of rumors and speculations hit the net regarding a Snyderverse getting created on HBO Max that would involve Zack Snyder's creating additional Justice League movies, with projects involving Ben Affleck as Batman, Joe as Deathstroke, Jared Leto as Joker, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, and more potentially in the works. Zack has enthusiastically and excitedly gone on record that he has ideas for a Justice League sequel involving Darkseid on Earth, and Zack even discussed how his Snyderverse is part of the DC multiverse, part of an Elseworld multiverse. The Hollywood trade sites even reported that if Zack Snyder's Justice League proves to be successful for HBO Max, it seems likely Zack Snyder would be able to do sequels to Justice League that would complete his five film arc. Ben Affleck is also being brought back as Batman for the Flash movie which at first was thought to be a building anticipation and hype for Affleck to do his own version of the Batman. But now, it is being said that the appearance is just to give the character a proper send-off. Two additional factors why the Snyderverse might not be moving forward on HBO Max could be Wonder Woman 1994 and Ray Fisher. Well, Wonder Woman 1994 is awful and hasn't been received well by the critics and fans alike, which may include rethinking the release of its 17th movie slate in 2021. Regarding Ray Fisher, Fisher recently blasted Walter Hamada following the New York Times interview and said he will never work on another film Hamada is involved with. Shortly after, WB extended Hamada's DC Films deal and now it's said Ray Fisher is not appearing in The Flash and that Cyborg has been completely written out of The Flash. Obviously doing the math, WB went over Hamada over Fisher, which is a no-brainer. We can assume that if Zack Snyder was going to complete his two Justice League films for HBO Max, that he would have wanted Fisher back as Cyborg, who Zack says is the heart of the Justice League movie. But it's likely WB probably said Fisher can hit the high road. So as Zack wouldn't recast Cyborg, he is probably finally done with all the BS at WB and is done with DC. Another issue could be Jeff Jones, who has been said to have stabbed Snyder in the back and is responsible for Ben Affleck leaving the Batman role. Then again, if the Snyder cut turns out to be a huge success, in terms of new subscribers for HBO Max, anything could happen. Please let me know your thoughts on these plot points and my speculations. If I missed anything or you have anything to add, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you if you have managed to get this far. See you next week with a video on Star Wars based spin-off series The Mandalorian right here on Unnecessary Comic Stuff.